Hey guys, I'm Chelsea for those of you who are new to my channel. If not, welcome back. Today I decided to do a peachy warm eye look for you. It's pretty simple, just a lot of blending. I kind of thought it was perfect for the spring weather. So if you guys want to see how I created it, please keep watching. So I'm going to start this look by going in with my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. Take a little bit of that, rub it together. It's going to go along my eyelids and I'm going to blend it out with this beauty blender. Then I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette and then set my entire eyelid with this middle shade. And I'm going to use my Morphe by Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush for this. Next, I'm going to be going in with this top right shade and I'm going to apply this using my Anastasia Beverly Hills A12 brush. And I'm just going to go into my crease and outer V with this. but mostly focusing it in my outer V. And blending it onto my lid, just to create a nice gradient. Next, going in with this darker brown to just deepen up that V. And I'm going to apply this using my Morphe by Jaclyn Hill JH37 brush. Next, I'm going to pick up some of this bright yellow on my Anastasia Beverly Hills A13 smudger brush and I'm just going to pop that right on my inner lid and blend that into the brown. And to really blend that in, I'm just going to be going in with my Morphe by Jaclyn Hill JH39 pencil brush. Making sure those edges are blunt out seamlessly. Blunt? It's blunt a word. And then going into my inner corner using this bit of gold. I'm not going to go very heavy, but I'm going to apply it using my Sigma Shader Inner Corner E46 brush. And then using that same pencil brush, the JH39, going with that orange and running a bit of that along my bottom lash line. Lightly clean that off, grab some of the yellow and do the same on the inner corner. Then taking that first big fluffy brush you used for the middle shade. Just blending that up. Now going in with some eyeliner, I'm going to be using NYX's Epic Ink Liner. I'm going to do a nice little wing. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with some lashes and I'll be going in with Icona Lashes in Happily Ever After. For mascara, I'm gonna be going in with Buxom's Black is Black Mascara. making sure the lashes are blended and then going underneath. Now to bronze up my face, I'm gonna be using Morphe's 8H Hi-Fi palette and I'm gonna go in with Debutante. I'll be picking this up on my Bobel B4 brush. And then dipping in a little bit, squeezing the brush so that it's thin. I'm just gonna go up and down the sides of my nose. Okay. And across. So 
underneath just like that and then taking a fluffy brush blending it out this is just a brush that I use to set under my eyes I got a couple pimples right there so they're just peeking their way through it's fine and then for blush I'm gonna be going in with this Natasha Denona bloom palette this is the blush and glow palette and I'm just gonna be popping on this peachy pink using my Anastasia Beverly Hills A19 brush. Then for highlight, going in with the 8H palette again and going in with Big Bang. I'm gonna be taking this on this Morphe Long Fluffy brush. Also going in on my nose, I'm gonna take my finger. And then going back to that Sigma E46, grabbing that big bang and applying it to the brow bone. Lastly, for lips, I'm going to be going in with Max Lip Liner in Spice and filling that in with Smashbox Gloss Angeles in. It looks like it says Actors Guild, but that, that just seems wrong. Anyway, it's this really pretty brown, sparkly orange color. So we're just gonna go with it. I lied, I'm just gonna line my lips with strip down. I'm gonna going over that with that Smashbox lip gloss. And this is the final look. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Hopefully you guys want to recreate this look. If you have any questions or requests for future looks, please leave them below in the comments. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video.